Hi AP, it's Miss Melissa. We're going on a virtual shopping trip. Take a guess where? If you guess Stop and Shop, you're right. Not Starbucks. Stop and Shop tonight. We're gonna price compare today the difference between some of the items that we find on Instacart at ShopRite and the price of the same exact items here at Stop and Shop. See you guys inside. Okay guys, so I'm inside Stop and Shop now. I'm just gonna come over to the little kiosk here and take a wipe to clean off my car. And then I'm gonna flip my camera around to the front so you guys can see what I'm seeing in front of me. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, Keith, so I'm not gonna lie. This is definitely my first time doing something like this. So this is your produce aisle, okay? This is all your fruits and vegetables. Look at how beautiful, guys. Wow. Oh, perfect. Here's my avocados. And look, so in Stop and Shop, the avocados are three for five dollars, okay? So we're gonna check that out as opposed to shop right tomorrow. So that's our first item, guys. Three for five dollars. Okay guys, so we're just gonna tour the aisles here. We saw the apples, now we're in pears. More apples, and on this side we have our berries. Over here. The melons, and remember some of the prices of these things, guys? If we have extra time, we'll compare and contrast some more prices of things. Okay. Ooh, citrus. I wonder if this is where our lemons would be. Huh? Okay, let's check out the price of lemons. Three lemons for $1.98. Okay, so now what I want you guys to do is to go on Instacart and check out what the price would be in ShopRite. Okay. So in different um, stores have different layouts. So in Stop and Shop, they have their sale items right in the front here by the produce. Okay. And there's their squash, one of my favorites. All right, so the next up on our list was onion, okay? We're gonna be looking around for some onion. And I know some of you have mentioned tomatoes, so since we're right here, we'll price check the tomatoes. Okay, so take notes, $2.49 for a pound of plum tomatoes. All right, we have $1.99 for a cluster of the stem tomatoes. And grape tomatoes are on sale, it looks like, for $2.99. And my favorite, the cherubs, are $3.99. So let's check those out on Instacart and see what they cost at ShopRite. Okay guys, so here we are. Bananas, you have your organic bananas at 79 cents a pound, or your regular bananas for 59 cents per pound. So here, guys, are some fresh herbs, okay? We talked about ShopRite has one of these, and I think the package might be a little smaller for 99 cents, and these are $1.99, which are gonna round up to about $2. Hmm, so many different ones to choose from. I think I'm gonna go with a little cilantro, and maybe some chives. Okay, and down here, guys, are the actual larger bunches, right? So for a cilantro bunch, it's $1.49, but that is a lot of cilantro. You can freeze it, though. Okay, and the same thing with dill or any of these. Okay, guys, so onion was one of the things on our list. So for fresh onions, it looks like they are 99 cents per pound, okay? And there's lots of varieties. You have fresh sweet. You have white. We have red onions. Okay, yellow onion. So it's really about what flavor you want. Red, I would say, are probably the strongest. All right, but they're all about the same price. Oh, and here's one of my favorite vegetables, peppers. So versatile, so many different ways to eat them. I love these little sweet peppers. They're delicious, bright, beautiful colors. Sometimes I use them as my bread or if I'm making nachos, I use them as my chips. All right, AP, so pretty much the produce aisle, all right? We're gonna head over now um, to the bread aisle so we can find and compare and contrast the bread that we need for our avocado toast. So 
So guys, I'm just walking around, stop and shop. Oh, there's Marty. Oh look, even he has a mask on. See, everybody practices uh, safety and social distancing here. So guys, we've gotten all of our ingredients so far. We're just gonna head on over to the bread aisle. Take you past some of the things here. Here's the deli. Little lobsters. Fresh fish. Okay, this is your aisle. Remember, just like ShopRite, it's gonna have signs at the top that's gonna help you to let you know what aisle is what and what's in the aisle. Okay. Crowded today. Right. I'm kind of just angling that up. Here you have your meat. So guys, a healthy trick is to always follow. If you follow the outside of the store, they say that's where all the fresh things are. And yes, people are looking at Miss Melissa like she's crazy. <laughs> but it's all good. Here's the frozen food section. Your dairy. yogurt and again this is just another sale section so you know that these items are on sale this week here at stop and shop okay i'm oh, sorry here are juices and here's your jams and jellies i guess we must be getting closer to our bread aisle guys what do you think Ooh. oh yeah sure all the good stuff Okay, here we go. So we are in our bread aisle. So remember, this is really a matter of preference, okay? Um, I do not like anything soggy or mushy, so I am looking for a hearty, which is, means like a thick, crusty bread, okay? That I could toast up. But look at all these different varieties. Rye bread, which is delicious, okay? And here at Stop and Shop, they have bright orange stickers that show you the sale prices. Okay, so look at that, three for $2. We'll have to check out some of this bread at shop for 99 cents. Oh, I like those, two for Okay, so here we look like we're getting into some of our heartier breads, guys. See, they have lots of seeds on them. They're a little thicker in slice. Okay. Hmm. But of course, you always want to check the price. Remember, we're looking for quality. Sandwich things. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to go with these. I can toast them up nice and crispy. They're already pre sliced. I like it. And look at these made with cauliflower. What? Uh oh, Miss Molza has to check these out. Wow. Now that's cool. And four dollars and sixty-nine cents. That's not a terrible price. It's not usually our cheapest, which is what we always like to go with. But remember, we had discussed that we were going to look for quality this week. The ingredients are so small, and it's really actually important to the recipe. Okay, guys, I forgot to mention another thing. All stores have their own bakery, right? A lot of these big name brand supermarkets. So Stop and Shop's crusty. This looks nice, selected seeded rye bread. All right, it's $3.99. So we're gonna check out what it looks like on ShopRite, okay guys? Lovely bakery section, nice. And here's the shop, Stop and Shop Pharmacy. So AP, we have price checked everything that was on our list. Right now I need to go and grab some sauce. 
So why don't you along for the ride with me? First thing I'm gonna do is look for the aisle that has sauce. All right. Now again, this is for my dinner tonight, so I definitely like a particular kind of sauce, especially if I'm not the one making it. Hmm. But Miss Melissa also loves a deal. So, here we go. Oh, I already see a deal that I love, AP. $3.99, saving $3, and this is a delicious sauce. Okay, AP, so no shopping trip is complete without checkout. Now, we just price checked our items for cooking this week because it's a little early in the week to buy them. So what I'm gonna do is scan my own items and just kind of show you guys how it works. I hope you were keeping track though of the prices that we looked at for our items because we're gonna budget those out later. Okay, so I'm rolling up to my checkout. Welcome, if you are a Scanit customer, please scan the barcode on your Scanit I'm or Scanit mobile device. I'm gonna simply press English. And then I'm gonna put in my personal code. All right, so my number was entered. Thank you and for now using I'm gonna get your started. card. Okay. Our favorite part. Three forty-nine. Six ninety-nine. All right. Three dollars. And the last thing, guys, is actually an onion, which is kind of cool because you get to see the whole process. Touch the item to purchase. Okay, so Miss Melissa needs an onion. Move your white onion to the bag. One thirty-three. Okay, I'm gonna move it to the bag. Finish and pay. Insert coupon. I have no coupons today, guys, so I'm just gonna hit continue. Your total is. And I'm gonna pay with my card. Please select your payment and please wait. System. Okay, for all my card users, I'm gonna use my card right now. I'm just gonna insert it into the machine. I'm gonna hold this up here so nobody sees and then enter my personal code. All right, so it's telling me my card is approved. I'm gonna take it out and get my receipt. And make sure to put your card away, guys. Okay, AP, well, thank you so much for shopping with me here at Stop and Shop. Um, have a great night, and I will see you guys in the morning when we price check all of our items and see where I'm going to actually buy our ingredients for Friday. See you guys soon.